Hey, good morning, folks. It's Mike, and thanks for jumping on here with me this morning. You know, yesterday, we discussed some principles around increasing our referral business in 2024, right? Today, I want to offer you a couple, few top reasons why you might not increase your referral business this year from your past clients and your sphere of influence. You just might not. And here's some of the reasons why. Uh, number one, it's just so easy to forget about us. It is. It's just so easy to forget about us. You know, a recent survey showed that 87% of people that had bought a house in the past 12 months said that they liked their agent and would use them again and refer them to people that they knew. 87% were happy with their agent and were glad to hire them again or refer them to people they knew. Only 4% had actually done so. The survey went on to uh, prove that over 93% of people that bought a house will never speak to their agent again after that closing. It's just so easy to forget about us. I believe the main reason that these statistics are so bad is not that we don't care. I think we lack a systematic approach for staying in touch with people. I think we have good intentions. I meant to. I thought it was important. I, I wish I had. We just can't turn those good intentions into action because we don't have a systematic approach. That would be something like, I don't have a weekly schedule and I don't have that built into my schedule every day and every week uh, and I have a CRM but I'm not really using it. Those would be reasons why we would suffer from good intentions and not have action and then it's just so easy for people to forget about us. Uh, the second reason why you might not increase your referral business this year, <clears throat> they know you, but they just aren't very impressed by you. And this can take on many different forms and reasons. Uh, it could be the way you dress. You're just way too casual and sloppy or inappropriate in your dress. Uh, it could be the way you act. You just don't act like a serious business person. Uh, you don't carry yourself in an appropriate manner, so to speak. It could be your social media, which is just alienating people from you. I see this every day. It makes my soul ache for agents. When I think that they think they're be doing something that nobody else on the planet thinks they're doing, your social media could be driving people away from you. Uh, these, your friends, your past clients, your sphere of influence, they think you're a part-time agent, that you're just playing at real estate. And buying or selling a house is way important to them to trust it to a part-time agent. Uh, they might think you're arrogant or opinionated because those things run rampant through our industry. And that doesn't tend to draw people closer to us, it tends to draw people, push them away right? The third reason why your referral business might not increase this year. Another agent has just done a better job in pressing them than you have. They have come in contact with somebody else that has a real estate license and that person looks like they're on the ball. Like they're working, they're trying, they're putting out relevant content, they're helping people and they're just more impressed with them than they are of you now. You've allowed that to happen. The fourth reason that I can think of why our referral business might not increase this year is <clears throat> the customer, the, the individual, the consumer, they just feel like we're not interested in their business. Have you ever interacted with a business like that where you just got the feeling that they, they didn't care whether they got your business or not. You can come, you can go, we don't really care. And how did that make you feel? Did that make you want to whip out your wallet and give them more money? 
or did it make you want to take your business somewhere else? If you haven't tried to stay connected with them, they might just think that you're just not that interested. Oh, I didn't think you did this. I thought you only did that. Why would you think that? Well, because you don't really tell us anything. You don't really stay connected with us. So we're just kind of making up our own reasons in our mind of why you might not stay connected with us. We just think that maybe we don't have enough money to warrant your attention. Yeah, they feel like we're just not that interested in them. Those are four reasons why we might not increase our referral business this year. And isn't that a shame? Because all four of those reasons have one thing in common. For no money at all, for free, let me underline free, because it is my favorite word. I love me some free. For no money at all, we can so easily make sure that none of those four reasons apply to us. We just have to have an organized daily approach to it. You know, if you want more referral business in 2024, you need to make the time in every day to stay sticky with your people so they know they don't forget about you and they know that you want to help them. And if you did that, if you made the time in every day to stay sticky with your people, I mean, what do you think? Do you think you'd be going out there and making it happen for yourself this year?